Hello and the Irish Coffee Investment welcomes you. As we celebrate the Navratra series, 9 days, 9 finance mantras. So today is day 9 of Navratra and we are worshipping Goddess Siddhi Ratri. Today is the last day and Goddess Siddhi Ratri depicts the attainment of Siddhis or the supernatural pursuits or the attainment of different pursuits. While definitely we cannot afford the attainment of supernatural pursuits at you know given juncture and time, we definitely can afford the pursuit of a lot of Lakshmi and let's make Lakshmi our Shakti. So talking about the attainment of Siddhis, why don't you make your financial independence your Siddhi in the coming years? So well, as we are talking about financial independence, let's talk about a very important instrument which can give you very good returns for your financial independence and that is an exchange traded fund or an ETF. Now you might be wondering what is an ETF? Well, an exchange traded fund gives you the benefit of investing in stock market and also the diversification of a mutual fund. So if you are a beginner and you really don't know the intricacies of stock market, the volatility, the market trends, different sectors rising and crashing, then definitely ETFs are a thing for you. So why and how ETFs, especially when we are seeing that a lot of millennials are investing in them? Well, first things first, ETFs give you very good returns and the expense ratio is relatively lower. So how does an ETF work? Well, an ETF actually buys a pool of securities and those pool of securities give you the diversification which is traded on a stock exchange. So you can buy them just like you buy the share of a company plus you get the diversification of different securities. So now how many types of ETFs are there? Well, there are four types of ETFs. Number one, equity ETF, which invest in publicly listed companies. Gold ETF, which invest in gold, wherein you actually get to own the gold on paper minus the protection of the asset. Number three, debt ETF, which invest in debt instruments like debentures or corporate bonds, which give you stable returns and less volatility. And number four, currency ETF, which invest in currencies of different countries. However, you should be very careful while investing in currency ETFs because they also represent the geopolitical and economic fluctuations of a country. So these are the four types of ETFs. Now how can you actually trade and how can you buy ETFs? Well, it's very simple. If you do not have a brokerage account yet, if you do not have a DMAT account yet, and if you haven't been to a broker of late, you can download any of the popular trading apps and you can start you know, trading and buying and selling ETFs. The ETFs are traded just like any company's share does and you can buy and sell them as per your requirements. Now, what is the benefit? The benefit is of diversification. And how does the ETF operate, especially when we are looking at so much volatility? Well, ETFs are a good deal for longer time horizon. You can say for five to seven years or more because Sensex and Nifty have never given negative returns in five to seven years. They have given excellent returns. Now, why not equity mutual funds and why ETFs? Because of the flexibility, because you, while you purchase or sell your mutual funds, you have to bear a lot of costs like the entry and exit load, like the higher expense ratio. While you purchase an ETF just like that on any trading app, if you are using any, if you haven't, then research the best trading app for you. You can make your DMAT account, you can do your KYC with your Aadhaar card or your PAN card, driving license, voter card, just do your KYC and add your respective bank account which will be used as your trading account from where the money will be debited or credited and then you can actually start trading and buying or selling an ETF. One of the best advantages that you get out of an ETF is that lower expense ratio because most of them are passively managed and not actively managed by a fund manager. Even if they are actively managed, the expense ratio is relatively way lesser than equity mutual funds. Plus, you can sell them wherever you and whenever you want without having to bear the entry and exit load. Also, they replicate a particular market. For example, if you buy an ETF which is actually replicating Nifty Bank or Bank Nifty, then the price rise of two or more equities or securities or the higher proportion of the securities will follow the trend of Bank Nifty. For example, if you buy an ETF which is following Nifty 50, 
the fluctuations or the price rise or fall will be actually taken into consideration as far as the NAV or the price of your ETF is concerned. So while they replicate market, they definitely offer a wide variety of you know investment choices for the young and the dynamic investors who actually are not afraid of taking risks. So you are, if you are an aggressive risk taker, then you definitely should go for a ETF for a time horizon of more than five to seven years at, you know, I'm telling you this on repeat because definitely in the last couple of weeks, we did see how, you know, the markets crashed and, for, and markets fell. So there are n number of factors which can result in the market's volatility. But as I say, the markets never actually give negative returns in the longer horizons. So if you are, if you want to stay invested in the stock market, for a longer horizon without having to look after the fundamentals of a particular company or that particular sector, then ETFs are a very good way for you. And as we celebrate the Navratra series, as today is the last day, so make your ETFs, your Siddhis, and in next 10 to 15 years, be a big billionaire given your investment in the ETFs because they give you that good returns, people, really. So keep following the Irish Coffee Investment for more. We are there on all social media platforms, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And do not forget to subscribe because more such tips are coming your way. And for any queries, just drop them down in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to make a video on that as well. Do subscribe the Irish Coffee Investment for more.